Hello and welcome to this Track Wrestling Help video. Here at Track Wrestling we're committed to helping our event directors run great events and one of the ways to do that is by setting up a mat assignment display which is what we're going to take a look at here in this video today. So the first thing that you'll want to do is log into your tournament as an administrator. Once you've done so you can go to the operating menu and go to mat assignment display. This will open up the mat assignment display settings where we can customize what you want to be able to view. So the first thing that you'll see is the presets and the layout. Most commonly it will be the tournament default and then the custom uh, column layout. There is the ability to add some layouts if you're running on a local server or we're connecting to a scoreboard or wanted to do some coding to customize what it looks like, but most events just use the standard column layout. The next thing is the column count, which generally speaking, if you're using the column layout, you would want to have set at one. Then you can choose your sort by, which is a great feature. This is what filters how your list of assignments will show. So if you select bout number, all of your bouts will show in bout order, regardless of what status they are on the mat. If you choose mat, it will show all of the bouts for a specific mat in order. So mat one, the on the mat wrestling match, the on deck match, and the in the hole match. Mat 2, the bout that's wrestling, the bout on deck, and the bout in the hole in order, and so on. If you choose by on deck status, it will show all of the matches that are currently wrestling on the mat, followed by all of the on deck matches, followed by all of the in the hole matches. Mat limit would be if you wanted to only show a certain number of matches on a mat. Generally speaking, you would set that to no limit because it would just display however many bouts you have your mat assignment depth assigned to show. Most tournaments use three or four, but that can be found from the settings page at the very bottom of the page. The next thing you want to do is go to the column layout and choose how you want to lay out your mat assignment display. The first thing that you'll see here is the upcoming status opacity setting. This gives you the option to color code so it's very clearly visible what the status of a specific match is. I like to have this on at 50% myself. You can make it lighter so it's less noticeable or darker so it's more noticeable if you wanted to or you can have it off altogether if you'd rather not display the color. But I like to have it set at 50%. You can also choose whether or not you want the wrestler's names to be colored by whether they're red or green. Uh, I think that's a nice feature to have on if somebody's looking at the screen and wanting to see who's on a mat, but it's one that is optional, so you don't have to display that. You can just click the toggle to change that if you want. And then in each of the columns, you have the ability to select how many characters you want to show as well as what fields you want to show. So the way I have mine set up, generally speaking, is I'll show five characters of mat, um, I will show the bout number. Five characters should almost always cover as many um, bouts as you would have because that would be over 10,000. And then I have five characters showing of weight right now because this is an open tournament that I had block bracketed. I'm going to go ahead and up that to seven so it will show the full weight range of my weight class on there. And then the next thing I have selected is W1, which is the first wrestler, Wrestler 1. And I just have their first initial showing and then 10 characters, which should display their whole last name, followed by their team. And then the same pattern with W2, which would be Wrestler 2. You could choose to show multiple characters of their first name, so it would show the full thing. We could change that to 10 if we wanted to. Or you can just leave it at the first initial, which is what I generally do for most of my events. And then if there was additional information that you wanted to display, you can find that here in the columns. We could show the division and group. We could show the bout type. So what round is it? Is this a first round match? Is this a third place match? You could show additional details about the wrestler, their seed, date of birth, hometown or state. Um, you can also show if you're running on a local server period and clock time. If not, then those fields won't display, so I would not recommend adding them on as most of our events don't run on local servers. Once you have all of the information that you have want to display set in the column page, you can go down to the recent results, which gives you the option to show the results of matches that have been recently completed. This is optional. You can toggle this on or off. I think it's a nice feature if you have a big enough screen to have it available. What I generally do is turn it on. I'll have the most recent 10 matches. We'll have them aligned at the top. I'm going to put them at 
the 50 pixel level so that it will be the third down because I'm also going to display announcements and team scores. If you wanted it right at the top of the page, you could click zero and then it would be first thing at the top. In terms of the scroll settings, I like to do 50 pixels every one second. It has a little bit of a slowness to it, but it's nice and easily readable for fans. You could increase that up to 100 and still have it move at a pace that would be very easily visible. That's just a matter of personal preference. I'd recommend pulling it up at a few different scroll speeds and seeing what you like best for you. I'm also going to shrink down the font size here. I don't think that that quite needs to be... 32 for us and then we can do the same with team scores all three of these menus recent results team scores and announcements have the same structure to them they function in the same way I'm just going to mirror the settings that I have here I'm setting the team score at 25 pixels so it will be the second space down from the top and then I'm going to have my announcements show at the very top of the mat assignment display here under advanced settings, you have further abilities to customize your view to how you would like the display. The first option here is which mats you want to have included. The most common default is to include all mats, but if you wanted to drill that down to certain mats, some examples of when that might be helpful is if you had a couple of announcers who were only doing specific mats, if you had some mats in multiple gyms and you just wanted to create a display for those, let's say in our first gym we have mats one through four and the rest were in the others, you could just display those mats. Or if you were at a larger venue and had a TV on either side of the gym, you know, maybe we're on the odd side and we only want to display the odd mats on this TV and then we'd have the even mats on a different display. You can drill down and customize that however you would like. You can also specify it by group. If you have multiple groups wrestling, you can customize those to just include one, multiple, or all groups as the standard. These settings are your refresh and your scroll. Generally speaking, I set mine to refresh every 30 seconds. I don't think it's usually necessary to do so faster than that. You can change your scroll speed if you had enough bouts that it would not display on one full page. And you can also set your margins. I'm going to go ahead and set my margin here to 75 since I do have the team scores, recent results, and announcements showing at the top of the page. If you weren't showing those, you could certainly set that to zero. If you are showing those, you just want to allow space so that those displays don't cut into your actual mat assignment display. And then you can customize your font size. If you were on a bigger monitor or want to dis display it larger, you could move that up to whatever works best for you. 16 is the standard. That's what I usually keep my events on. Um, but that's something that you can play around with and choose how you would like to set that up. Test display is a setting that will mirror all the settings that you have shown with just stock information. So if you're setting up your mat assignment display in advance of your tournament, you could toggle the test display on to make sure that it's showing the information that you want to see. But once you're running your event, you want to make sure that that test display is off so that it's showing the live information from your tournament and not those default settings. QStats is not something that would be commonly used in most events. And then dark mode, you have the ability to make your mat assignment display black if you wanted, or you can leave it in light mode, which is the standard. Just depends on your display and as a matter of personal preference. From here, once we have everything in the settings drilled into how we want them, we have a couple different options. We can save these settings, in which case every time we go back to mat assignments from the operating menu, they're already saved. Or if we just were creating a custom screen for one side and we didn't want these changes to carry over to every display, we could click view and then it would leave our default settings from the last time we saved them and just show our customized view on this monitor. I'm going to go ahead and save these and click view so we can take a look at the display. So here you'll see um, the announcements, like I said, at the top of the page, those rolling team scores and recent results. And then we see the actual mat assignment display begin here. The green matches are the ones that are wrestling now because I have this view sorted by on deck status followed by the on deck mats followed by the in the hole matches and then anything beyond your first three will just show as white so if we had five or six matches assigned to each mat they're not going to color code any further down after the first initial 
wrestling on deck and in the whole matches. I also have the announcer box visible here on the side so that if my announcer was using this screen, he could keep track of what bouts he was calling. That's something that you can turn off and on in that column view as well. If you have any other questions about how to set up your mat assignment display or anything else with running your tournament, please go to the support tab here in the upper corner of your tournament page and our support team would be glad to assist you. Best of luck with your event. Good day.